Many people believe that water has no colour, that it is transparent, such as the water in this glass. Many people also believe that the colour of water is blue, because the sea is blue. So what is the colour of water, and what determines it? Let's empty this glass of doubt. Water is one of the most important elements on Earth. In fact, 70% of our bodies are made up of this precious substance. It is comprised of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom, and is represented by one of the most recognisable symbols in the world, H2O. The water that you see every day coming out of the tap and down the stream often contains suspended materials and dissolved minerals. It appears clear and colourless to you. However, water is in fact not colourless. Instead, it has a slight blue tint to it, only recognisable in larger quantities. The blueness of water is neither due to light scattering, which gives the sky its blue colour, nor dissolved impurities, such as copper. Instead, the blueness of water is caused by the water molecules absorbing the red end of the spectrum of visible light. Let's take a closer look. Because the absorption that gives water its colour is in the red end of the spectrum of visible light, the naked eye sees blue, the complementary colour of orange. To be even more detailed, the absorption of light in water is due to the way atoms vibrate and absorb different wavelengths of light. Overall, water's blueness is caused by the absorption of the red end of the spectrum of light. However, no matter what the colour of water, its beauty and importance should be preserved for generations to come. I'm Martin DeRoy, and our glass of doubt is empty.